We're lifting up holy hands without wrath or doubt in the sanctuary of the Lord to praise you, magnify you, Lord. We're lifting up holy hands. Hello and God bless you. Welcome to your five-minute spiritual checkup. I am Evangelist Kelly Harrison. In 1 Samuel 1.11, we find a prayer of Hannah. And she vowed a vow and said, O Lord of hosts, if thou wilt indeed look on the affliction of thine handmaid and remember me and not forget thine handmaid, but will give unto thine handmaid a man child, then I will give him unto the Lord all the days of his life and there shall no razor come upon his head. Hannah was a married woman who desired a child, but she was barren. And in those days, to be married with no child was frowned upon. Hannah, who was in bitterness of heart because of her barrenness, went to the Lord and asked the Lord for the child she desired. And she promised the Lord that she would give him back to the Lord all the days of his life. The Lord blessed Hannah and she had a son and she winged him and then took him to Eli the high priest so that he would serve the Lord all the days of his life. Today, we who have children must take the time to teach them about the Lord. Let's not just take them to church, but let us take time, read the word of God to them, explain to them the stories in the Bible and how they impact their lives even today. If we can reach our children while they are young, when they grow up, the word of God will remain with them. Please, Take the time to be godly parents as Hannah was. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you on this Mother's Day for godly mothers like Hannah women who were willing to raise their children in the fear of the Lord. Lord, we ask that you allow us to impact the lives of our children, our nieces, our nephews, those young people over whom we have authority. Let us 
introduce them to you and train them to fear you, to respect you, to love you, and help us lead them to your precious son, Jesus Christ, who died for our sins. And Lord, as we do this, we ask that you would let the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. In Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. If you have enjoyed this devotion, please like, subscribe, and comment below so that the word may be spread. God bless you.